The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has already changed how humanity sees the cosmos. With its massive gold-coated mirrors and infrared vision, it has looked deeper into space and further back in time than any telescope ever before. It has shown us galaxies as they were billions of years ago, revealed stars being born inside clouds of dust, and even glimpsed the atmospheres of distant exoplanets. But not all of Webb's discoveries are meant to inspire wonder. Some discoveries ignite fear. And in the case of 31-slash-Atlas, what Webb found has left the scientific world speechless. Let's step back. The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, known as ATLAS, is Earth's early warning shield against dangerous asteroids. With its telescopes scattered across Hawaii, South Africa, and Chile, it scans the sky for moving objects that might one day collide with Earth. Normally, ATLAS picks up small rocks, comets, or harmless near-Earth objects. But in early 2025, one detection stood out an unusually large, dim object moving in an orbit that didn't match anything expected. The object was catalogued as 31-slash-Atlas. At first, scientists thought it was just another dark asteroid. But its orbit was odd, slightly unstable, shifting in ways that didn't make sense for a natural rock. And then came the strange part. Atlas telescopes recorded unusual reflections, tiny flashes that didn't behave like sunlight bouncing off rock or ice. They were too regular, too sharp, too much like lights. Because of this anomaly, the James Webb Space Telescope was tasked to observe it. After all, Webb had already proven capable of capturing faint exoplanet glimmers light years away. Surely it could clarify what was happening with 31-slash-Atlas. When Webb turned its golden eyes toward the object, scientists expected to see the rough, uneven surface of an asteroid. Instead, what they saw was beyond imagination. Webb detected something no natural asteroid should ever produce, artificial light signatures. Not random flashes, not sunlight scattering but structured emissions, repeating in patterns. At certain intervals, the brightness surged, pulsing in ways eerily similar to coded signals. It wasn't just reflecting light, it was producing it. At first, astronomers scrambled to dismiss the results. Maybe it was a glitch. Maybe cosmic rays struck Webb's sensors. But the more they checked, the more the data confirmed that 31-slash-Atlas wasn't an asteroid. It was behaving like a machine. The deeper Webb looked, the stranger it got. Infrared imaging revealed geometric outlines, straight lines, angular shadows, something no asteroid should ever have. The surface wasn't rough and random like most space rocks. It was structured, like plates, panels, or even windows. And that's when the whispers began. What if 31-slash-Atlas isn't an asteroid at all? What if it's artificial? But this was only the beginning, because once the data was decoded, scientists realized the so-called lights weren't just random emissions, they were messages. At first, the team at NASA and ESA tried to classify the light pulses as unidentified emissions. But word leaked quickly. A group of independent astronomers managed to access fragments of Webb's raw data, and when they ran it through signal analysis software, the results sent chills down their spines. The emissions weren't random. They formed sequences of prime numbers. Prime numbers are unique. They don't appear naturally in repeating cosmic light sources, Pulsars, quasars, and magnetars produce bursts, but never in mathematical sequences. Primes are the language of intelligence, the very code scientists themselves have suggested we use to communicate with extraterrestrial life. It was undeniable. The lights from 3-1 Atlas carried an intelligent pattern. Once the pattern was established, researchers pushed further. Could the lights contain more information? Could this be a transmission, encoded in a language that anyone capable of math could understand? 
Through weeks of analysis, the patterns revealed maps. Yes, maps. When decoded, the sequences outlined positions of celestial bodies in a local sector of space. Cross-referencing with known star charts showed the map wasn't random. It highlighted our solar system, and within that, a single point was emphasized repeatedly. Earth. Why Earth? Was it a message directed at us? A warning? A threat? Or an invitation? The decoded light didn't stop at mapping. Buried within the sequences was something far stranger, a timeline. It counted forward, using orbital cycles and prime-based markers, and it pointed to a specific date in the near future. According to the interpretation, on October 13, 2036, a major event would occur, an event connected to Earth. Some scientists immediately linked this to the known asteroid Apophis, which is set to pass near Earth in 2036. Officially, Apophis is not expected to hit us. But why would 3-1 Atlas emphasize that year so clearly? The implications were terrifying. The lights weren't just signals, they were a warning system. Some researchers whispered about another, darker theory. What if 3-1 Atlas isn't just warning us? What if it's part of the plan? If it's a machine, then who built it? Why place it in orbit near Earth's neighborhood? And why activate it now, flashing its artificial lights just as humanity's telescopes became powerful enough to notice? The more Webb watched, the more disturbing it became. The lights weren't constant, they were evolving. At first, they pulsed at slow intervals. Then, as if responding to observation, the pulses accelerated. The signal grew stronger, more complex, as though 31 Atlas knew it was being watched. And then, something even more shocking. The object shifted its orbit, slightly but unmistakably. This was no random drift. It was course correction. 31 Atlas was moving. By now, the scientific community was divided. Some argued for caution, release nothing until the data could be confirmed. Others believed silence was dangerous, that humanity had the right to know. But leaks spread faster than official statements. Soon the world was buzzing with speculation. Had James Webb discovered proof of extraterrestrial intelligence hiding inside an asteroid? Governments scrambled to respond. NASA released a vague statement about unusual infrared reflections requiring further study. The European Space Agency denied that Webb had found artificial signals, but insiders whispered that emergency meetings had already been held behind closed doors. And then, the most chilling development yet, Webb wasn't the only one detecting the lights anymore. Ground-based telescopes with advanced optics, including some in Chile and Hawaii, confirmed faint pulses coming from 31-slash-Atlas. Ordinary astronomers could see the anomaly. The discovery was no longer containable. So the question shifted from, is it real, to what does it mean? Three major theories emerged. Theory 1. The Watcher. 31-slash-Atlas is a probe left here by an ancient civilization to observe developing planets. Now that humanity has reached a level of technology to notice it, the probe has activated announcing its presence, waiting to see how we respond. Theory 2. The Warning The lights are not for us, but for others. 31-slash-Atlas may be a beacon signaling across space about Earth's position or warning us of an incoming cosmic event, like Apophis 2036. Theory 3. The Arrival This is the darkest theory. The lights aren't a message. They're a countdown. The course correction detected in 31 slash Atlas's orbit suggests it isn't passive. It may be moving into position for rendezvous, or worse, for contact. If this is true, humanity may be facing its first encounter not decades from now, but within our own lifetimes. And the biggest mystery remains. Why now? For billions of years, the skies were silent. If 31-slash-Atlas has been here all along, hidden among the rocks, then what triggered it? Was it our technology? Our signals leaking into space? 
or was it always set to activate at a predetermined